Now, the interesting thing about being an engineer on a PL map on red side is that you really are playing a game of seconds. Most of the other classes, they get to sit around and wait for things to start, and that whole minute, though, is for you. That's why you have that set of times, so that the engineer can build up and get ready. So let me show you in real time exactly how I would do a deployment. Drop that. Appreciate when miss. Grab begins. that. Six Keep running. Seconds. Run up this hill. Grab this ammo. Get my sentry gun already out and ready to build. Now, if there's another engineer building over there, I'll leave his ammo alone. But drop center. this, grab this, drop this. Run over here. Now, I'd either usually wait if, say, someone was over here building. But since Sentinel's here, I'll show what I normally do. And drop this. And start building this up. As soon as I'm done whacking away at this, I'll run, grab this, as it should be respawning. Yep. Got it. Run past. Run up here. Crouch jump. That's both the two. Mission I'll build this up to three. Seconds. Now, the thing about being an engineer is you never want to be a buddy fucker. You never want to steal someone's three, two, ammo. You never want to steal their equipment. You never want to empty out one of their dispensers when they're trying to do stuff. And really, you want to help them whenever you can. So this is already built up to level three. Grab this again. Try and get my teleporter up to level three. And I'll tell you the best part about this spot I'm sitting in right now. That the winner spawns. You'll get the timing of that down eventually. And you build this up to three. Now this spot is incredibly damning. When you're back against this wall, spies can't backstab you. If they want to sap your stuff, they have to be directly in front. Once so that's you, blow them to hell. You're constantly being healed. All your teammates are spawning here. Usually I'll put this uh, up here actually. Because a spy, if they're smart, they'll run back to your spawn and they'll take this teleporter and uh, telefrag you. But by putting this sentry gun here, we're watching here, here, this whole platform, of course, and down here. If they want to get to you, they have to come around this corner. They can't shoot through this at all. Flames can't get you, grenades can get you. The only thing you're really vulnerable to is to a brilliant sniper who gets a crossbow and pops. A soldier does that, or a demo man. And when they're doing this, the great thing is all your teammates will be over here, and they'll be funneling out. So usually you'll have a heavy guy sitting here taking advantage of all this free ammo, and he'll take all these shots for you. This is really one of the most powerful spots in the game on any map. It's completely broken. I'm not even going to try and lie about that. But there are a couple other spots, especially if you're already built up, if someone else is built up here. And I'll show you those now. Another deployment area is to build up right here. This, uh, you can get grenaded if they angle it just right or if they bounce up against this roof, but they don't. They just never seem to. And so if you guys got plenty of time to shoot here, here, you've got all your angles covered. The only thing you're vulnerable to is if they manage to sweep past here and get behind you, but again, doesn't happen too often. And your teammates will be spotting and pushing up this direction so they'll be stopping the flow. Another good spot about this is it covers this point and it covers them as they try and push the cart through here. And it covers anyone that tries to run in this direction. So you've really got this area locked down. Another uh, more common spot, and it's really a last ditch effort, is you're right here, you're simply covering this, this uh, capture point. Last ditch effort, you're pretty vulnerable, they can toss some stickies and blow up your stuff pretty easily. Usually this, um, I don't try and build here, I usually never will. Once it's gotten that far, I try and build somewhere back, because the point's lost. Or I just try and fight as hard as I can. You don't want to build up here. I mean, you can put your gun right here, but that's all you're covering. It's not much of use. You put it right here, it's worthless. It'll just pick you off from spawn with snipers or rockets. This spot's usually best just for snipers to deal with. And let's say you've lost that first point. Now, once we've lost that first point, I'll usually try and have this set up right as they're taking it. So this covers this hill rather efficiently. And this entrance. Again, grenades over top, and they can rocket launcher through here. So this spot right here, you can always lose this to an ingenious sniper who comes down the top and shoots it. I'm moving this down to be closer, but that lets you repair this and keep it up. And I'll put the teleporter right here. This little piece of uh, wood usually stops Mission most grenades and stops seconds. it from hitting you. And this tends to work rather well. 
inside the tunnel, there's a couple good spots you can set up. Here's a generally well-known one. You can still be hit from direct fire, but this works the best. Put your stuff right here. Teleporter usually about there. And you should be fine. Another good spot is on top of this rail. You put it right here. And you'll shoot anyone that's trying to come in through these doors. You have a very smaller, uh... Just count on time to go away. You have a very low, uh... Field of fire. People can get past you pretty quickly if they're smart, so you want to upgrade your gun as quickly as possible. And you're vulnerable from this angle and this angle, so you have to watch out for spies. But this is a pretty commanding spot that people use for good reason. The problem with this capture area is it's incredibly open and it's very hard to put any gun worthwhile anywhere. You could try and put it here, but you can be picked up from an angle, you usually get sapped, shot from behind. You can't sit out here because you're far too in the open, you'll just get destroyed. So most people, they will build their stuff either right here or right here. It covers the point, it lets you uh, control your field of fire. Lighter. You can put that there. Dispenser right there, got some ammo. And this tends to work pretty well. Uh, eventually it does fall to an uber or ingenious members just firing grenades and rockets out that window. Or an uber dropping down. But this is really going to be your last chance for holding this B point. So things are getting down to the wire. This will hold off this door. This will hold off this area for a little while. But they can still come at you from the top. This is just to buy you some time. This spot tends to work decently well. Come here, 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 and here. You're under attack from a lot of different angles. It's hard to build your dispenser anywhere that's not going to get completely demolished. And you're going to be dealing with spies and everyone else in the world. But this does hold this hill pretty damn well. But you're usually going to be pushed farther back. I'm this moving this. Dead area. It's taking so long for your team to move up. More than likely, you're caught in this death trap, which is actually a very easy to hold death trap. You can put your sentry gun down here if you'd like. Oh, good. Yeah. That usually works pretty well. And once you're here, feel free to grab all the engineer slots you want to, because these really do help hold the spot the best. Now this spot you can build in. Where's my ammo? The spot you can build an engineer gun is, of course, up here. This build covers all your way to entrances and exits. People like to build up here. I don't think it's be any surprise to anyone. Packing up. You can try and play defensive. Put your gun simply right here, and you will block off this door entirely. You don't want to place it in the doorway, because they can be attacked from behind. Or from here, and putting it right here means so that if you have a fully upgraded Sentry gun, it's going to be very hard for their pyros to kill you very quickly. Here's another spot that tends to work pretty well, especially if you put a teleporter up here, which lets your teammates attack from all these angles as well. And this holds the two entrances here and here. It's nearly impossible to get a rocket launcher in here to do any sort of damage. You can... that's health, can't use that to build. You can put your dispenser right here, and teleporter right here, and you should be fine. Rocket soldiers really don't jump up here, it's never been a problem. When you're out here, it's uh, really good to make sure that you've got a teleporter up, because of the distance your team has to run, your spawn has been pushed back to there once you lose the third point. Oh, I'm stuttering a little bit. Wait, first, second. Yes, third for you, second for the enemy. Mission ends in 30 seconds. So, you want to make sure your teleporter is up and running. Usually, if you put them on these Teleport, steps, things work pretty well, because the enemies, for some reason, don't seem to come this way. And be able to push your enemies underneath these lines, they'll usually be out of the way of fire, and it's coming. Um, you can try and drop it teleporter right here. That tends to work pretty well as well. Team, They tend to wait until they get up to here. Drop down, and I've got just enough time to finish. Five. And that should be enough for you to win as the red team. Or always hold them up as long as you can. This is the pain. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions or comments, post it in the comment section.